Hey everybody, it is time for your Wolf Girl Oracle reading of the day. So here we go. Right, Clarity? Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, October 27th, 2022. And here is your Oracle reading for the day. We are going to be taking an Oracle card from the Sea Soul Journeys Oracle deck by Pippa Best today. And we'll also be pulling a, um, a tarot card from the Metamuse Tarot deck that I have here. And we'll be raising your vibes with a Language of Self-Love Oracle card as well. All right, so let me get these C cards shuffled here. Oops, I'm holding them upside down. Yes, and all of these all the backs, there's four different backs on these cards. So if you're like, what is she doing? Does she got like several decks here? No, I do not. It's all one deck. They just got four different backs. All right. Angels, please protect us. Spirits of the land and home, please surround us. And ancestors, please give us wisdom for something that we need to know today. All right, let's pull this card right here. It is magic. Ooh, look at this card. If I can get it in my hand. Here we go. Magic. May you flow with the divine. Oh, look at that. The moon on the water. Full moon on the water. Where you can see the subtle. The subtle. The subtleness of the flow. You know, in the sunlight. You can see the rapids, you can see the rocks, you can see everything that's all around you, but in the moonlight, you see the more subtle and gentle aspects of the flow. The hidden things, you know, some of the shadows, the shadow stuff. So let's, let's focus on that for a moment here. And while we do that, I am going to pull a Metamuse tarot card here. And see if we can get any more clarification for the magic card. Ooh, well, something flew out here, so let's grab it. It is, oh, it's the Nine of Swords. For a second there, I thought it was the Seven of Swords. No, it is the Nine of Swords. Oh, look at her. She is deep in worry and regret. <laughs> but the Nine of Swords isn't necessarily a, you know, quote unquote, dark or evil or bad card. It's just talking about suffering, about suffering and misery, you know. And sometimes along the way, even when we're, we're in the flow, we still experience things that aren't necessarily nice, that aren't necessarily comfortable or easygoing, you know. Sometimes along the way, we do run into shadows. We run into things that, that cause us some misery and pain. The important thing is don't get out of the flow just because things aren't going exactly the way that you hoped that they would. Water always flows exactly to where it needs to. Right? Water goes exactly where it needs to go. So you stay in the flow despite what's happening in your life. You just, you, you have to surrender, have faith, and continue in the flow. Sometimes that's hard. We always want to take control of things. We want to be the masters of our own ships, right? But sometimes you just need to surrender. And in that surrendering, that's when you find um, the subtlety and the magic of the flow. So don't, don't, let, uh, don't let anything like completely uh, defeat you, you know? Just keep going with the flow because tomorrow is always a new day, no matter what. Just bide your time, be patient, and what is supposed to come to you will, and this too shall pass. Very important. All right, let's pull a Languages of Self-Love card here. Let me shuffle these up. And today's card is Quality Time. 
I could eat at a restaurant alone, go for a walk, and feel confident about being alone. Confidence is strength and beauty. And you know what? When you go through tough times and you're able to survive it, the person that comes out on the other end is a confident person. A person who does realize that they can stand on their own two feet and don't have to depend on anyone else other than themselves and the source. Now that doesn't mean that you don't give your heart to other people or that you let other people into your life, but you can stand alone. You can do it. Confidence is strength and beauty. Oh, that was that was a very interesting, interesting reading from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Well, everybody, that's it for today. I love you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again tomorrow for another reading of the day. We'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.